As we all know, XJ9 aka Jenny Wakeman was created to protect the Earth, plain and simple. So it's easy to see why she would be carrying every weapon conceivable to the known imagination. Since she's Earth's defender, Jenny's abilities and weaponry are usually on full display. Whether she's showing off her arsenal as a flex, or using them to put baddies in their place, viewers know that Jenny is more than capable as a hero. Then there's this tidbit from the opening. This prompts the question, just how strong, or rather, how deadly is Jenny at her full potential? The answer lies in the series' lore. Jenny's model name is Global Response Unit XJ9, which immediately suggests that she was built with Earth's well-being in mind. And this is confirmed in the episode Armageddroid, where it is revealed that Nora Wakeman created the XJ series as a successor to her first defense unit, Armageddroid, after he became destructive. And as mentioned in the same episode in the television movie, Escape from Cluster Prime, Nora was once part of the Skyway Patrol, Earth's de facto defense organization. Unfortunately, as revealed in Last Action Zero, Skyway Patrol is ineffective at their job, which prompted Nora to create Armageddroid and later the XJ series. Basically, whatever Skyway Patrol can do, Jenny can do it faster and more efficiently than they do which is crucial when dealing with forces that put Earth and humanity in immediate peril. In order for us to really uncover just how deadly Jenny can be, we need to consider her many powers. Naturally, Jenny is really strong. She was able to slow down a meteor to the point where it didn't obliterate Earth. She did this incredibly quickly and came out of it generally unscathed. Jenny has too many weapons to list, but here's a short showcase of them. In some, Jenny is basically a juiced up Swiss army knife. She is multi-purpose and can get the job done without a hitch. With this information, it's not surprising that many antagonists take advantage of her and her capabilities. Despite Jenny's abilities as a combat unit, her AI can be easily tinkered with, which has allowed villains to control her for their own gain as seen in Pest Control, Hostile Makeover, A Robot for All Seasons, Sister Sledgehammer, and I hear there's another, but that's an unconfirmed claim. If one of the villains actually managed to get away with their plans, the results would be mayhem. Hell, in A Robot for All Seasons, Todd Sweeney achieved that for a full year. If a little kid can use Jenny to ruin holidays, imagine what Vexus could use Jenny for against the world. To answer the question of the video, yeah, she's deadly. Really, really deadly. But enough with that gloom, let's bring up another fun scenario. Is it possible for Jenny to become a danger in society on her own? Well, in theory, she already is since she's filled to the brim with weaponry. In practice, this isn't so much the case since she's a good-natured and well-meaning person. Still, like most teenagers, Jenny is susceptible, meaning that she can be easily manipulated or influenced by others. Rob Renzetti, the creator of My Life as a Teenage Robot, has gone on to say that there's some sort of inhibitor in Jenny which stops her from harming regular people, but I feel like that could easily be manipulated or removed altogether. Who knows, maybe Jenny would go all Doom 2016 on one of the Crust Cousins if that were to happen. To get it out of the way, there have been a few people who believe that Jenny is really weak simply because she has weaknesses. Not everyone can be as powerful as this mad lad. Unfortunately, or fortunately, they're kind of right. Jenny has been inconsistently put out of operation by water multiple times. She has a hard time focusing on the task at hand and is easily tricked. Jenny has an emotional connection to her friends and family. So one of her enemies can kidnap Nora, maybe send Jenny one of her fingers in the mail, and then apprehend Jenny when she tries to rescue her mom by dunking an ice bucket on her head. I bet you didn't expect that kind of situation to be covered by the My Life as a Teenage Robot fanbase. See YouTube? We're not kids! Anyways, what's your favorite weapon of Jenny's? Be sure to tell us in the comments below. I've been your narrator, Andre. Thanks for watching. watching this video.
video. If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment. Or check out our other platforms. Links are in the description.